All right, welcome back. This is Josh Wallet, and I'm talking about the market machine. So we have imported our raw data. We've gone ahead and filtered that data within the market machine to include the data that we want to analyze for this specific analysis. And then we used these buttons here to push that filter data out to the reports tabs. So we're going to take a look now at the reports tabs. We're going to click on standard report and let's take a look. It has the criteria documented here so we know exactly what criteria we entered. It also has some basic analysis here with median and mean numbers and this uh, sort of mirrors the format of the employee relocation form that some of you may use so it may help you to complete that. And down here we have the common form, the 1004 MC. So if you have filtered the data to the point where you believe it's representing the comparables or the similar properties that you would normally complete your 1004 MC form with, then this section may be helpful for you because it has crunched those numbers for you and it has some additional analysis below. I'm going to just scroll back up to the top and let's now click on the next tab. This is where it really gets interesting. We have a lot of built-in charts and graphs which are going to show monthly breakdowns of different indicators, in this case the number of sales that took place, for the 24-month period that we're studying. We have quarterly summaries for the eight quarters and then we also have year-over-year -year comparisons that we can take a look at. You'll notice on the right we have actives, pendings, as well as combining the actives and pendings so we can compare what's going on right now to the 24 months of history. Let's scroll down and just take a look at some of the other charts that are there and the indicators we're measuring. Here's the trend in distressed sales. We have REOs and short sales and we can take a look that in general in, in this particular segment that I have filtered out uh, it's been declining and we actually have very little you can see here on the right hand side current activity related to shorts and REOs. I'm just going to scroll through here. We have a little bit more information on distress sale properties. We have concession information. We have zero and one year old properties. And now we get down to the trend in the sale price itself. We can actually use this to toggle uh, if we want to have it a little bit more illustrated um, and kind of expanded out. But again, we have the monthly statistics of highs, lows, and medians. We have the same for quarters and then we have the same for the year over year as well as the actives pendings and actives and pendings combined. You can see the top of each box is the 75th percentile, the bottom of each box is the 25th percentile with the 50th percentile in the middle and we have highs and lows at the top of each of the lines for the month. So you can really get a whole lot of information out of this without doing search after search after search after search. And that's what this is designed to do. It's designed to help you crunch the numbers fast so then you can take these charts and all of this data and you can analyze it as the human market analyst and come up with a reliable trend summary in your reports. You can see there's others like price per square foot, days on market, the ages of properties, sell to list ratios, both the final and the original, trend in acres and bedrooms. These last two are actually customizable. So next we'll take a look at a summary page of all of this market information. But if you have questions on what we've just looked at, please give me an email. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Thanks so much.